Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be taking the trailer up to Keystone RV, which is just over the Pennsylvania line. It's gonna be about a 60 mile tow. And we've got the new 2023.38 software update. So we're gonna see how that does towing our travel trailer, which is about 5,500 pounds. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, so we're setting out. We have the trailer brake gain on five. That's where I usually like to have it. And we've named the trailer so that it's gonna track both the weight of the trailer and the efficiency. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to trip B and I'm gonna reset that. So we have that there. Okay everyone, Ken from the future here. We had some audio issues with the video, but we started off with 90% state of charge I had really wanted to get 98%, but time didn't work out so well. So we wound up leaving Ramblin' Pines Campground here with 90% state of charge. And I got ABRP set up and we have it in the all purpose mode with the trailer brake gain set on five. I have the trailer configured and we're actually gonna head out to Keystone RV. It's just over the Pennsylvania line and we're gonna get some service done. Now here you can see I have ABRP set up and we're just leaving the Ramblin' Pines campground. Quick reminder folks, remember to hit that like button. It helps other YouTubers find quality content. Now one of the great things about the new Rivian software update is that we have a ton of data available to us. We have the elevation, we have the motor temperatures, we have a compass, the trip meter, and the tire pressures all there. We can see how the power is being distributed. And as you can see, we have a little more power going to the front wheels. Now in this part of the video, you can see that it has detected my trailer is weighing 5,000 pounds, which is pretty accurate. I had estimated that the trailer weighs about 5,500 pounds. It is a little over 4,600 dry. But with all of our stuff in it and some water in the tanks, I'm sure it's a little over 5,000 pounds. So it looks like the Rivian software has done an excellent job detecting the weight of the trailer. Now at this point in the trip, we had only gone a little less than five miles and we were already averaging about 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour for our towing range. And the truck was detecting that if we used 100% of the battery, we would be able to get 186 miles of range. Now, I still think that's very optimistic. I don't think we would ever be able to get that much out of it. I think the full charge range would be closer to 150 miles. Now, it's also important to note, I was trying to keep the truck as close to 60 miles an hour as possible. Just the difference between 60 and 65 when you're towing is a significant decrease in efficiency. So I like to try to keep it around 60. And I'll also note that we were going up and down quite a few hills. If you look at our elevation there on the screen, the highest and the lowest, you can see that we were kind of going up and down quite a bit. Now also at this point in the video, I had changed my ride comfort from soft to stiff it used to be the towing mode when you had the towing mode in the old software that it would automatically change it to a stiff setting when you went into towing mode but now since we don't have that dedicated towing mode you actually have to change it and i highly recommend you set it on stiff because there's a lot of bounciness when it's in the soft mode now as you can see here at this point we had gone about 19 miles and we still had the same 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour efficiency. Also note, if you look at the front and the rear motors, they never really got too much higher than this point during the whole trip. They're at about 150 and 154 degrees respectively and the rear motors were in the 140s. Now ABRP I have set at a reference consumption of one mile per kilowatt hour at 65 miles an hour. I found that to be a very conservative setting 
to ensure that I'm going to get to my destination. Now, we didn't need to stop and charge on this trip, but if you're towing and you're going to need to stop and charge, it's very important to set ABRP to a conservative number so that you don't get yourself stuck. Now, what I found is all throughout this trip, we were doing considerably better than what ABRP had predicted. And if you look at this particular time in the video, it predicted we were going to have about 70% and we had closer to 80% at that time. Now at this point in the trip, we had gone about 35 miles and you can see that our elevation, our highest elevation had gone up almost to 1000 feet. And we were actually getting ready to start climbing a hill here, I believe. And we're still doing considerably better than what ABRP says we were gonna be doing. And the motor temps are staying kind of in the same range. So we're doing really well there. And our efficiency is still 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Our battery temperature did creep up a little bit. We're at about 95 degrees. Now, one thing I'll note folks as well, is we are in ideal conditions. The ambient temperature at this time was about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is ideal conditions for an EV. And this is the kind of conditions where you're gonna get your maximum range out of your electric vehicle. Okay, folks, so here we are about 50 miles in, and you can see that our highest elevation had gone up to 1,211 feet. So we were climbing some even steeper hills and coming back down to get some regen. Our efficiency was still at 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Battery temp creeped up a little bit to 97 degrees. Motor temps holding steady. We were still doing considerably better than what ABRP had predicted. Okay, so at this point, folks, we are really close to our destination. We've gone about 60 miles still at 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour battery temp has come down slightly to 96 and our elevation still holding steady we're at about 650 feet and we're still doing considerably better than what abrp had predicted abrp said we should have about 30 percent state of charge at this point however we had almost 50 percent Okay, folks, so here we are getting off almost at our destination with 62 miles logged and still 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour, but we wound up with 1.2. So it was really close the whole time, I believe, to 1.2. And don't laugh, I actually missed the entrance to Keystone and had to turn around in a truck lot. Thankfully, I was able to get into that truck lot and turn around without having to back up the trailer. So that was helpful. Okay, folks, so we've reached our destination. Here are our final numbers. And we still had 48% state of charge when we got to the RV dealer. So we did considerably better than what ABRP had predicted. And on our return trip, without the trailer, we actually were able to go 62 miles all the way back. And even if we, though we made a stop, 
we still had 28% state of charge. So I was really happy with the range on this trip. Now stay tuned to the end of this video, folks. I'm gonna show you some footage of the truck and our trailer so you can get a good idea of what we're towing. What do you think of this towing software update from Rivian? Let us know down in the comments section. Folks, as always, remember to like. It really helps us out and helps other YouTubers find quality content. Remember to click subscribe. Then hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. Thank you so much for watching.